Hello everyone. So today video, I will show you how to use the Screener 2.0 to create a template like this. Okay, we have Screener 2.0, pr uh, price volume analysis summary, uh, market depth, and as well as uh, time and sales. So this one in here, we have a trending trending charts. I will guide to you step by step how to add this component in. Okay, no more delay. Let's start with create a new template. Okay, here is our template. First thing first, we will divide this template into the three, uh, three, three column like this. Okay, so I have three column here. Okay, of course, on the right hand side here, we will add in the trading chart. You just have to go to bottom here, three trading chart, trading chart. So add it in. So we will have a trading chart in here. So because our screener 2.0 can send the indicator, respective indicator to the training chart. Okay, then at the middle of the column, so what you need to do is divide it into three parts, like, me, like this. So one, two, three. Then after that, you just have to click and put the component that you want. For this example, I will put in the price volume analysis summary. Okay, the second component that I will put in normally use in trading market is the market app. So we have 10 level of market app that you can see clearly what is the uh, transaction, I mean the queuing happen, ha happenings in this particular stock. So the last component I'm going to add in for this template in this middle column is time and sales. So this time and sales can give you an idea how is the market trading every single transactions in this particular stock. Okay, so no more delay. We put in the most important component for this today, so which is Screener two point oh. So you just have to click on the component, go to the tools. Okay, look for this Screener two point oh, but still in beta version. However, it's working perfectly for our recent testing. Okay, so uh, the first components that uh, I'm going to put it in to filter the entire market will be the general options. Okay, so this is the general options that what stock, uh, what is the, 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 the market that you want to search. So in here, you can see we have main market, age market, or whether it's Sharia compliant or not. If you don't want warrant, you just have to uncheck this too, then no, no more warrant in your searching criteria. Okay. As you can see, we have an icon, little icon here and there. So no panic. Okay, I will get through you one by one. Okay, first, add and criteria. So this is plus means when you mouse over it, you can see that click to add criteria here. here. So what you need to do is click on this. So it will give you a few options like add a new criteria here, add a blank criteria here. So for our today videos, we only will add three criteria, take three branches with three different criteria. Okay, so first we add in the first criteria to filter some of the stock that things that important, I mean the, the criteria that important, we put in the traded value. So any stock on the move, I believe that anyhow you need a traded value. So we will increase this traded value to maybe two million, at least two million then they have a momentum. For this, for that today, I mean today, the last candle means that today. So at least you have two million transactions, um, two, two, two million of value treated. Then consider it is an active, a more active stock counter. So clear on it. So right now we have put in treated value today. One means today, one day, today. So more than two million of ringgit. Okay. So we will test it out. See this screener can find the stock that we, we want or not. So today is Saturday, okay? So when I search, it will be a Friday um, market data, okay? So you can see that we, we have 139 counter that treated more than or equivalent to 2 million, okay? So after this 139 stock actually listed out, okay, we can go through it one by one like this, one by one. So when you, I, I move around, I mean across the, the stock, the counter. So our my screen will change accordingly as well. So see that the stock actually 
Okay. So you can see all the market data, all the all the price volume summary will change accordingly. Means that whenever I click on the left hand side of the listing, the right hand side all the all the components will reflect accordingly. Okay. So now what we need to do is we want to add the criteria that uh, the indicator filterings that we want in this, I mean to their purpose. So next thing you just have to click another new criteria here. So just now I mentioned to you the template that's the, the indicator that we use today is technical in definitely in technical because we use technical analysis. So we use KDJ first KDJ. Of course, I just want the stock that turn green today. Means that uh, later on we expand a bit on this. What is this turn green? Okay, okay. So after that, you can see turn green. Okay, now it's time for us to search again to see where's the stock actually just turn green. Okay, so you can see here is the. 10 records at the bottom. So you can see this 10, right? So you have 10 records listed at the bottom. Okay, what you can do is you can go one by one, go through the stock that uh, listed up, that uh, match the criteria. As you can see, uh, the indicator already added in here. So now I'm gonna add another indicator. So we pick a simple one. So there's two way that you can add a branch means that I need to have three criteria, symmetries, tendency, screen out the stock. So right now I add another branch, we call it branch. So you add another branch, okay, then you see there's two branches, okay, A and B. So what I'm gonna do now is I will add in a criteria for this additional criteria. So um, now we look for SMA. SMA means MA, okay? So moving average, MA means moving average. So what we will choose is we will choose a uh, five there, bigger or equal to, bigger or equal to 10, okay? So um, although we have all the resolution and so on for this tutorial, um, this video, I won't touch any of the resolution yet because there, there are different time frame all for different purposes. So right now we just focus on SMA, 10, okay? So when we hit on the screen again, you can see that there is 110, 11, 111 stock that match the criteria of B. Okay, let me jump in a bit step. You can see this is criteria B, which is have a result of 111. Okay, so listed out everything, then you can go through one by one. But obviously this trading chart, you, you don't have a SMA 5 equal to SMA 10. So what we need to do is we just have to again send the send to training chart. You see, the indicator we automatically add in here. Okay. Green is short ones, means five. Long is 10. So you can see five over 10. So move to another stop. Five over 10. So by this way, it, it, it is so easy that you can use our screener. To screen out the criteria and match all the matches criteria as well. Okay, in this column now you can see the screen a bit different. You can have a all A ten record and B. Okay, hundred over record. Okay, so you can one by one go through. Or if you would like to add in more criteria, like a more um more criteria to screen more result out so maybe this time we add another one okay as to the today video we focus on three criteria kdj sma five bigger than ten then now we add another branch same step add another branch okay click on it open a criteria so right now what we do is we do parabolic sar for bottom fitching okay so in here right what we need to do is we will Bottom fitching means that the stock price is actually going down for quite a number of days. So we focus on 10 days, maybe. Not right now we put it 10 days. Okay. But here we, have, we need to do a trick. So we have to do something like um two days, two liters, uh any 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 candle, two days. 
Then you just press on OK. Later I will show you why we repeat this. Okay. Secondly, we have to add another criteria at the bottom. So if you would like to add another criteria to strengthen the to, to reduce the result that you want or to get a better result, you can always add additional criteria to filter more. So in this case, I will filter against for parabolic first screen. This time I will choose first screen and the last candle is green, the first screen. Okay, so I will add it in. Okay, as you can see like this. So now when I screen on it, right, you can see that there are 17 result. I mean count counters that match the criteria of this one. This one means let us send the indicator to here. Okay. To make it more clear, right? Maybe I will change the 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 icon to a circle. Then you can see more clearly. Okay. Let me go to one by one. Okay. Let's go to one by one. So we have to go to the C result C because this criteria is for under C. So you go to C. Then you click on this. Okay. So let us count. The first criteria actually is 10 dot. You see, 10 dots that more than 10 dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, it's definitely more than 10 dots. So here we have a first screen out. Okay, here is the trick. The first criteria, you can see that any of the two latest candles have 10 dots. Means that the previous there have 10 dots. And the last candle must be first screen. This is the criteria that we do for bottom catching. Or if you want, you can put it even more. Like for example, you edit it and you can you can always edit. Just like click on this, then you can edit the criteria, then you put more like 15 days or 20 days. Okay, based on the the situations or the the the, the, the stock environment now. Okay, so you can see that uh this is the criteria we so they created so we have parabolic SAR break dots more than 10 and first screen so we have three criteria the filter with three different listing A 10 records B 111 record C 2 record if you want to strengthen uh, the SMA you can always add additional just like the same step we just have to add in another criteria okay you look for the MA again okay uh, SMA. MA means at SMA. So SMA again and 10 over, maybe this time we put it 10 over 20. Okay, so we screen again, then you will have left 91 records in this. Okay, obviously you can always do like send this criteria do here. So that you know that is actually the 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 ten is over the shot. Okay. Hey, the shot is over the ten. Sorry. So mistake. Okay. So you all you you can also go back to here that you can see match A B. You see A and B A and B. So you know what stock actually match more than one criteria. They will increase the possibility that's what you want. Then you have more chances to, to get a better stock for yourself. Okay? Of course. Finally, after you created this template, you can always, always save the template. Okay? Or create a template that you want. So this time I will say KDJ, SMA, then this one is 20. Okay. You can always duplicate the template. You can always save the template for your later use. For example, like me. I created a screener, KDJ, SMA, 5, 10, 20, and SAR. So after confirm, you can see at the top menu here, you will have the additional template that for you to use later on. Okay. Before I end, right, um, I would like to uh, explain a little more on, you also might need to disable the template like this, disable the template. Okay. If let's say the, the now the market is not so good or you want to, remove some of the criteria like oh 91 actually I don't want to use this you can always disable 5 
bigger than 10, disable it like this. Then you screen again, then you get the result. Okay, after you change, right, you really want to remain this one, you can just hit on save, control save, or you hit on this save button, save templates, then you save it for later use. For instance, right now I move to a different um, tab, then when you come back, right, you will have the template, save template in your account. Okay, last but not least, you can always turn on the auto mode here, auto screen. This view actually screen the entire market based on the category you have set. So screen out the result in one every single every single minute or as far as 30 seconds. So like this, you see, every 10 seconds you screen, if you took about 0 0.1 seconds to screen out the result. If this is um, um, an open, open market, market day, so the market is running, so you will always can get the later result in your screener 2.0. Then you can go through one by one to seek for the opportunity they want, the stock that you want. So here is my sharing today. Thank you very much. Bye.